Morning guys, uh, as you can see we're out on the river today so not my, um, not my normal place you'd find me out on a boat bobbing about. So here I am this morning, we're down on the, um, on the River Thames, it's very very local to me. Um, hopefully um, you can join me on the bank, we'll try and get a few perch, um, do a little bit of pike fishing, maybe catch a chub, let's see, hopefully we can um, get a few pulls, we'll go for a few techniques and um, a few swim selections and see how we get on. So we've made it up to the, um, a bit further up the stretch now, I've actually got a little perch on here look, which is nice, um, on a drop shot. So happy days, that was perfect timing. Um, as always, a little slick shed. Oh, well, I was just gonna say, we've um, started a bit further down this morning. There was a big back eddy, um, had a few casts with the crankbait and managed to get one small perch, probably similar size to that. Um, a lot of the river's actually carrying quite a bit of water from the last few days of rain. You can probably see in the background there's a lot of leaves coming through, quite a bit of colour. Um, a lot of it's pretty, not unfishable, but certainly not that inviting. So I've come to another area where there's quite a big sort of back eddy on the far side. Um, can't really fish it with a jig as I'd normally like or with a crank. It's quite, quite difficult to get over there. So I'm just dropping a little drop shot over there and um, as you've just seen, I've had one. So let's see if we can find a couple more or some a, few, a little bit bigger. Um, I'm not not always a big fan of the drop shot on the river but situations like this it's just perfect for it there's not enough of a kill zone for me to fish my jig over there and um, there's too many floating leaves for me to get a crankbait over there effectively so let's keep casting there's another one there's such a tight little spot over there once you get it in the right area. Um, it looks like there might be a few fish to be had. There are no monsters. But when we haven't got a competition and we're out for a little pleasure session, I don't mind whether they're big or small. Beautiful little Thames perch. Fin perfect there, look. There's a couple over there. We've got another one on the drop shot, the same lure. So I think what we'll uh, have a little look at in a minute is swap the lure colour over and see whether it makes a difference. That one's getting a bit smaller, but see whether it um, either pickers out a bigger fish or we can get a bite a bit quicker or just try and work out a bit of a pattern and see if there's anything, anything that we can improve our catch rate. So if you've just seen, I've swapped over from the silver bleak to a um, bit perch pattern, something a bit brighter, a few stripes. I've had two casts already, not had a touch. So because it's a pleasure session, I don't like just sort of standing here and just, you know, hammering the fish on, on one bait. Yeah, you might catch a few, but you don't really learn anything. Whereas I prefer to sort of learn what different colours they like. And then for the similar river situation in, in the future, you've got someone in the back of your brain that will come back and say, Ah, oh, that day this colour worked really well, it outfished everything else. So what I do now is just go through maybe only five or six casts on different colours and just have a, have a go through. We know that the silver bleak works. Um, then maybe switch over to a, a little spiky shad, um, go through the colours there. I haven't put um, any spiky shads on yet. I've got one here waiting to go on, but we'll have a little go. And it might just be that the different um, vibrations from this gets us more bites than that or they might be a bit more subtle today which it's been real gentle little taps actually um, so the slick shad might be better with a little bit less movement a little bit less vibration um, we might even if i dare to try and chuck a jig over there just to try to prove that we can't stay in that 
kill zone long enough, um, which is why we've resorted to going to the drop shop. But um, stick with us and we'll see if we can catch a few. Well, interestingly, we just changed colour again. So I've gone through four or five. What have we got here? Oh, it could be a chub. Oh, it is a little chub. We've just gone through four or five colours. And um, funny enough, Sam said to me, oh, I like the pearl one. So I've gone out on the pearl and we've been casting now, I don't know, 10 minutes without a bite. And we just had a little chub. Happy days. And a beautiful little Thames chub. No big monsters yet. And um, on these pleasure sessions, I'm not fussed about the size of them, but it's nice to get a pull. And that's, um, that's perch and chub so far this morning. So happy days. One of my favourite colours is the um, the watermelon, particularly in this, this spiky shad. And um, as I've already explained, it's quite a tight little area over the back here, but I haven't had a cast yet, but I'll have a little go with the jig, but I would think I'm not going to be able to spend enough time in the, in the kill zone over there. Um, we haven't had many more bites after that little chub, so I'm just going to have a few casts with the jig and see what we can do. Um, we might then just go back over with that original silver bleak just to see because we've gone through four or five colours now and not really had a bite, changed over to the pearl and got the little chub. Um, just have a couple of casts on it, there you go, we're back in the main flow already. So I've only got sort of 10 seconds, maybe 15 seconds in the area that I want to be fishing. Um, which is why the drop shot just gives us that time to stay over there. But I will see, I prefer to be fishing fast like this, but we'll see. If I can't keep the bait in the right place, then it's not going to work, is it? So I've probably had um, five, 10 minutes of casting now with the jig. I haven't had a bite. I've tried the color lure and size and shape that we've been catching on. Um, it's just really difficult to keep a bait like right right over in that area. So we've had a couple of fish here. I think I'm gonna chuck the drop shot back over just for one or two more chucks, just to see, just for my own head's purposes, to see whether slowing it back down and getting that original bait back on can grab us one more fish. Um, and if not, we'll go on a wonder, see what other features we can find and see if we can find a few more. So I think we'll um, call this the last cast. We've gone back over with the silver bleak and the drop shot. Um, haven't really had many more bites or certainly haven't had any more fish. I think one, the river, yeah, it's carrying a little bit of colour. There's um, lots of leaves coming down, but these sort of day ticket available little stretches of river, they get quite a lot of pressure in these small little areas and I think the fish wise up pretty quick. So um, we'll just keep on the go. It wasn't quite the last cast, we'll have one more. But we'll keep on the go and, um, you know, go and find a few more areas and see if we can pick up a couple more fish. I think that's a pike. Well, we're just chucking this little slick shadow in the jig around this little back head here. And we've just had a pull. Whether we get it in or not, I'm pretty sure it's a pike. It doesn't feel like a big one. If we've been lucky with the floor out, we might get it in. So as you can probably see, I'm on really light gear. I've got no, no trace on because I'm perch fishing. Um, but if you guys end up in this situation, just let the fish, just let it tire itself out and don't try to bully it in. You haven't got a trace, just try and be a bit lucky. We might land it. We've got 
10 pound flora on so it's not like we're on really silly light gear oh. and there we go little bit of patience just to let it tire itself out a little bit and um, again like today no monsters but that's our third species of the morning well it looks like we were probably very lucky to land that you can probably see the floor has come right through the jaw just wrapped around a little bit there but oh, we're only nicely on the outside there but we were quite lucky there's a bit of damage on there so we're gonna have to change that that leader now I'm not um, recommending pike fishing with small fluoro but as we're perch fishing it's just a bit of bycatch and um, pleasure sessions like today we're happy to catch all of them so not a monster by any stretch but as I said earlier that's three species now um, they've all come on the slick shed this morning apart from one little perch that was on the um, on a crankbait very early on but uh, great fun great sport so there we are again no monsters but lovely little pike she's off So just had that little pike down down in this um, this little back eddy here. So on these little small rivers, I say it's the Thames and a small river, but we're very far up. These little back eddies, when it's carrying a little bit of water, is where um, you'd expect there to be a few pike. So obviously, I've just had it on that little slick shad with fluorocarbon. I've just retied the, the leader. Um, there's a few teeth marks in there, a few marks. But as there's a few pike about and um, this little back eddy looks quite favourable, might, might get another one. Just swapped over, small wire trace, 10 centimetre pro shad. Um, funnily enough, actually, that sort of goes to show I'm always carrying too much gear, too many rods. So I've got four rods out on the bank today. Um, a lot of um, you know river anglers or sort of street anglers would only go out with one. I prefer not to waste my time setting up and changing rigs and doing that. So if I've got one for each situation, um, it's no stress just to carry four. Like now, just had that pike, we'll swap over, perhaps see if we can get another one. Might be the only one there, but at least this time we're prepared for it. We've got the small wire trace, still only a single hook, but um, see if we can find another one. So today I've been using the um, Terminator Jigger. This is 2.4 metres. Um, it's got quite a good action. It's you know a bit tippy, so it handles these smaller fish. It's got plenty of backbone to take the bigger fish if you do hook one. Um, I've been fishing the 10 centimetre pro shads a lot today. I don't think these smaller river pike want a big bait. Um, normally they're working very well. We've had one pike today, but it wasn't on this. Uh, we've lost a pike on this today. I've paired that up with just a simple seven gram jig head. No stingers, no trebles anywhere. Um, fine wire trace. I do like to fish a length of 16, 16 pound fluoro um, between my wire trace and my braid. And the braid today is just 15 pound braid. Um, nice, light, simple setup and um, perfect for these small river pike. So for my jig fishing today, I've been using the TI Pro. Um, this is 2.1 meters and this is a three to 14 gram. It's absolutely lovely bit of kit, beautiful perch fishing rod. Um, as you saw earlier, we had the pike on this, handled it no problem at all. Um, I've only been fishing little three and a half and five gram jig heads today. As much as the river's been pushing, you've seen we've concentrated on slacks on the inside, back eddies on the inside and far side, and fishing down the creases. Um, we haven't done that well on the jig today, and most of the perch have come on the drop shot. I think it's just, you know, a change of the, the water conditions, it's got very dirty, they're just not in a very active mood. Um, but this I've paired up just with a little thousand size reel. This has only got 10 pound braid on, and again, 10 pound fluoro. Just perfect for your, for your small river perch fishing. So most of our fish have come on the drop shot today, um, on that nice little slick shad, the silver bleak, uh, unfortunately, not expecting to drop shot. I left my drop shot rod at home today, but I had a second twitch and jig in the van. 
Um, this is the older original Terminator. It's been absolutely brilliant for it today. Um, we have got a full range of drop shot rods. So there's one in the Prism range and there's one in the, um, in the Terminator Pro range as well. Um, but drop shot and as long as you've got some light, fine, sensitive, you can get away with quite a lot of rods. This has been brilliant today. And um, without the drop shot, we probably would have missed out on a lot of perch, um, definitely the chub and um, yeah, a lot of the action for the day really. So hopefully everybody's picked up a few little bits. Get yourselves out there, even if the river's not looking great, find some slacks, find the inside eddies, the far eddies, any creases, um, anywhere where there's structure, all places like pubs and such like, they've always got a big structure up the wall, they always hold a few fish. Um, they generally get hammered, but if you get there and try and give them something different that they're maybe not seeing every day, then you should be able to pick an extra fish or two up. Um, so good luck and tight lines.